Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking and spending time with me today. I really appreciate you being here. I'm so grateful for you for supporting by watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on any future uploads. All right, so we are starting in the kitchen. We are doing a cook with me. So the pan that I'm using, originally I used it for um, baking cakes. I used to do like cakes and cupcakes for the kids, um, parties and schools, but I don't do that anymore. So now this has become my chicken pan. <laughs> so this is what I bake my chicken. I will cook my chicken um, out of, and I'm just seasoning it with garlic powder, onion powder you, powder. you do see the garlic powder is a little clumpy, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. We're still gonna use it. I also use some all-purpose seasoning, the Creole seasoning and seasoning salt. And then I kind of, you know, make sure all the seasoning is coated on the chicken and of course i'm washing my hands constantly washing my hands when i'm in the kitchen um and then i also was looking at the chicken i was like it doesn't seem like it's seasoned too good so i do another round of seasoning with the seasoning salt and the creole and then i add some parsley The end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you. Alright, so here you see me using the cream of mushroom soup straight from the can, and I put it on the chicken. And then I also forgot in this particular clip to add the chicken stock, but I do go back and add it. You will see in the next clip or so. I do go back and add the chicken stock, which is a must. So I have the green peppers, the onions, the chicken stock, the cream mushroom soup. And I really, really love this, this chicken. This is one of Lauren's favorites, which you'll see. 
<laughs> this is her favorite lauren is not a big meat eater but this chicken she devours um i also use a big bag of chicken wing uh, wingettes from sam's i think it's 20 pounds but i don't remember so don't quote me and then i just separate the bag using most of it for the cream of mushroom chicken and then the other half i'll use for either the barbecue chicken or fried chicken at the end of the week Heavy. Heavy. I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay my oven was preheated for 350 while i was preparing the chicken and the chicken cooked for maybe an hour and 20 hour and a half i don't really remember but somewhere around there all right so now i'm just seasoning the lima beans i use um parsley i also use oregano and then i use some of the all-purpose seasoning and then in the other pot i'm just boiling the water um, to get ready for my rice the rice i get is from sam's it comes in a big box i want to say it's about 35 40 pounds once again don't quote me i don't remember but i just buy that big box i actually ran out of it so the container that i have is the last bit of rice that i have so i need to put that on my grocery list because we eat rice in this house on the regular Now don't judge me because I am going to dump some more sugar <laughs> into the Kool-Aid because it just wasn't sweet enough. And we like our Kool-Aid. We like our sweet tea, super sweet. Actually, this is the kids second time having Kool-Aid. Like before the pandemic happened, the kids were only drinking water and milk. And if they had like juice or soda, well, really it wasn't even really soda. But if they had juice or soda, it was for special occasions like holidays or if we went out to dinner. But since the pandemic, I was like, look, the world is going through some 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 time. We're going to drink the juice, drink the juice. But now that everything is, you know, pretty much back to normal um, as far as the routines, it's I need to break this habit. So I use the last packet of Kool-Aid and then we're going to be back on to the minimal juice i'm not going to say no juice minimal juice milk and then water but they enjoyed this kool-aid it was really really good and the container only lasted for the night there was no leftover kool-aid
This chicken was smelling so good. It wasn't quite done yet, so I'm just moving it around, making sure all the chicken is, I mean, it's, clearly it's coated, but just moving around, making sure every chicken is covered in all of the good, good juices and the gravy. Um, I do save the gravy. I don't, you know, pour out or throw away the gravy. I do put some of the gravy in the container when I package up the chicken. And then I also save some of the gravy and then I use it for pasta um, for another another dinner. I'll just, you know, boil some pasta and then put that gravy over the pasta and add some veggies with it and it's super good. Alright guys, I just checked the website at Sam's and the big box of rice is 25 pounds. guys the food is done I'm gonna go ahead and pull the chicken out of the oven and start fixing plates normally we eat dinner around 5 30 or 6 um, but when I'm filming um, well I'm filming in the kitchen it's kind of hard to stay on that schedule but we didn't eat dinner too much after our normal time I think we started eating about 6 15 6 20 so it was still early enough for them to get in the bed um, at their bedtime because they do go to bed early my plate my drink I told Lauren to stop drinking because it was I know it's too sweet and you know it's almost bedtime so I told her she could save her drink for tomorrow so that's what she has left that is her plate this is Dylan's plate and his drink Zach Zach this is Zachary plate. Zachary got rice. Zachary about to finish that rice. And then that's his drink. All right, y'all. I made Zachary finish that rice. So that's Zachary plate. So they getting ready to take the trash out. Love you, love you. 
all right y'all so the kitchen is clean Zachary put the food away I wiped down the counters and Dylan swept so we are ready to close down shop for the night no matter where I go I'm coming home to you been walking down all right guys we have made it to the end thank you so much for clicking and joining us today as I cooked in the kitchen I really do appreciate your support for clicking and watching all the way to the end so thank you thank you thank you so much guys dinner was so good like I had to tell her like Lauren it's hot you're gonna burn your mouth it's hot she was like but it's so good it's my favorite so the kids really enjoyed as you can see the plates were clean okay so the kids enjoyed it which made me very happy they really liked the drink Lauren was like what is this drink called kool-aid honey it's called kool-aid she was like how do you make it honey it's kool-aid it's nothing special <laughs> but it's so good it came in, in clutch so it's really good all right i'm gonna go ahead and sit here and edit the footage that i got today so that will be up for you really soon if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please do so so you don't miss out on any future uploads i'm really trying to make a goal so i would love your support for subscribing thank you so much guys bye